Hey everybody, we're going to talk about nationalism and how nationalism can bring people together and sometimes form nations. A lot of times they're going to talk about Italian unification and German unification because of nationalism. And this video, I'm going to focus on Italian unification. And I also have another video about German unification due to nationalism. But first, nationalism is a force that can bring people together. For example, nationalism, it's a strong love for your country, pride in your country, pride in your culture and customs, and it can bond people together. Common language, common culture, common history, and geographically, you know, like a common land. And that's going to happen in Italy. So Giuseppe Garibaldi, he's going to be a famous person with Italian unification. And Garibaldi, he wanted Italy to become a country. And there were many Italian speaking kingdoms at the time. So Garibaldi went out and he set out to bring all these small Italian speaking kingdoms together as Italy. And he was a military man. He led a army of Italian nationalists and his army, the red shirts, they wore bright red shirts so they're easy to identify. So here are two pictures of Garibaldi, a portrait and a photograph. He's still going to be remembered as one of the people who used nationalistic pride to bring the Italian people together. Now, this map is a great example showing the kingdoms of Sardinia, the Grand Duchy, um, the Popple States, the kingdoms of the two Sicilies right here. And you can see all these states had, you know, languages a bond, culture as a bond, um, history, of course, part of the Roman Empire. But they were um, small kingdoms, and they weren't unified. Garibaldi wanted to do this. So he's going to make it his mission to turn Italy into one unified country, as you see right here. And in 1919, that's going to happen. Uh, another guy, another Giuseppe right here, Mazzani, he also wanted to bring the Italian people together. And he was known for his fiery speeches and writings. He led rebel re revolts, and he wanted the Italian people all to come together. So Giuseppe Garibaldi, Giuseppe Mazzani, they're all very famous in the Italian nationalistic movement. Here's a political cartoon. You've got uh, Giuseppe Garibaldi and Count Camillo Cavour, and it's basically showing them making Italy. Um, Cavour also helped unite Italy. And, of course, they're making a boot because Italy is geographically uh, similar to a boot. Once again, here's a famous picture of Giuseppe Garibaldi, one of the people who is going to be instrumental in the major drive in bringing the Italian people together. He was a military man, a military leader. His people were the red shirts. And here you go. If you didn't want to come together and be part of the greater Italian empire, well, Giuseppe Garibaldi and his red shirts, they come after you they come get you and of course this is a painting showing Giuseppe Garibaldi leading the people with his red shirt and you can see his army is attacking and their dream was Italian unification now this is in Rome and it's basically honoring King Victor Emmanuel and it's celebrating basically um Italy the un unification of Italy all right. And I mean, it's it's, it's a, an amazing structure. It's there. You can see it today. Uh, many people go there. But this was basically, um, you know, celebrating all the Italian people coming together and once again forming a country and using this nationalistic pride. And you can see the two Italian flags flowing this, um, you know, Roman architecture in the back to bring back the pride of the Roman Empire. Okay, so Russification, this is also another um, topic. Okay, and nationalism is going to play into Russification, which I'll cover in another video. So nationalism, it's a common language, history, heritage that brings people together. And it brought the separate Italian kingdoms together. And we're going to learn it also is going to bring the Russian people together. Thanks for listening. Have a great day, everybody.